Hey homeschool moms, I am laying here resting my body, but I thought I've got the brain power to answer um, at least one question related to homeschool curriculum that I have been getting a lot. So I know this is the season where we are starting to, you know, look at homeschool curriculum for the next year. We're reevaluating what we're currently using. And so I've been getting a lot of homeschool curriculum questions and I've gotten quite a few about math you see and then also BJU Press Math. And um, if you're new to my channel, I have been homeschooling for over 20 years. I have used a lot of different math curriculum, but I've always come back to either math you see or BJU Press Math. So that's why people are asking me about those two because those are the two that I have been using faithfully for many years. And so I want to answer some questions about them. Before I jump into the questions and the answers, I do want to just say that I did do a comparison uh, between Matthew C. and BJU Press quite a few years ago in a YouTube video, so I will try to remember to leave that link down below. I also did an in-depth review of um, BJU Press Math. And that is on my blog, and I will leave that link down below if you want to try to understand the method and how that all works. So those resources, those reviews are available for you. I'm not going to go into all of that in this video. The second thing that I wanted to say is that um, BJU Press Math and Math UC really are two different methods for teaching math. And so whatever I say to answer the questions, you could totally disregard in some sense because it really comes down to what works best for your child and which math and which method of teaching math makes math click for them. I mean, that really is the most important. All right, but with those, let me get to the questions. The questions have pretty much been, when it comes to math you see, people wanna know, is math you see a curriculum that's going to prepare a child for college level math. I'm getting this a lot. People want to know, people are hearing math you see, it's just, it's too simple. It's not going to prepare your child for college. So we're going to talk about that. The second question um, kind of goes off of that of, you know, if my child, I'm trying to think of how people are kind of wording it, but they're asking between Matthew C and BJU Press Math, which one would I recommend for a child who is going into um, a science field or technology or engineering or math field? So one of those, we'll just call it a STEM field, okay? If they're going into a STEM field, would I even recommend Matthew C? Would I pick BJU Press Math? Would I say, hey, pick a whole different math, you know, find something else. So those are kind of the general questions about math curriculum and specifically about Matthew C and BJU Press Math. So here's my answers. All right, so when it comes to Matthew C, I, I wanna let you know that um, we used, with my oldest daughter who we started homeschooling in first grade, we started her in Matthew C, the alpha level, and she used it. Um, just Matthew C all the way through their calculus level. She went on to college. She did well in college level math. She didn't have any problems. So yes, Matthew C is going to prepare your child for college level math. That being said, she did not go into a STEM field. Um, that was not where her degree was. And so would it have prepared her for um, college level, you know, math and science classes for those that are going into a science, technology, engineering, or mathematics field, I still think it would, but if your child is okay and can handle BJU Press Math, that's the one that I would recommend. So that's the answer to the second question. If you have a child, if if you only had math you see in BJU Press Math to choose from, which obviously you don't, there are lots of excellent math curriculums out there for homeschoolers, but those are the two that I'm familiar with. Those are the two that people are asking me about. So if you had a choice between the two and you knew your child was going to go into the STEM field, I would suggest going with BJU Press Math. 
And here's why, I, I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why I would pick BJU Press Math over Matthew C. And the first reason that I'm gonna tell you actually has nothing to do with the STEM field or anything. It's, it's just why I have moved away from Matthew C and to BJU Press Math. So, um, and that is because of the biblical worldview education and the fact that they are grounding math in scripture. And I'm not talking about math with scripture sprinkled on top. I'm talking about um, teaching math with the realization and the foundation that God is the author of creation. He He's the creator. He designed math. He created math. That math reflects the character of God and God's logic and in his... Um, God's a God of order, and so those aspects are intertwined into the BJU Press Math curriculum. Um, all of BJU Press curriculum is grounded in a biblical worldview. And so um, right now, while my oldest did all Math UC and Math UC alone, my youngest batch of kids have only used BJU Press Math and are doing really well with that. And my middle batch of kids, I've got some using BJU Press Math, some using Math UC. So it's just a mixture. Um, we're just using what is best for that individual child. Some do better with Math UC, some do better with BJU Press Math. All right. Now, why though would I recommend it for um, somebody going into a STEM field? Why would I recommend BJU Press Math? And the reason I would recommend that is because I think BJU Press Math does a much better job of teaching critical thinking skills. There's a lot of critical thinking that is going to need to be used when you use BJU Press Math. And I think that's why some people think that Math UC is easier, um, is because there's not as much critical thinking in Math UC. Math UC teaches you the basics of the math. You're gonna get a solid foundation in math, but they just don't put in as much critical thinking skills. Um, or you're not going to need as many critical thinking skills. You're not going to be using that. Um, BJU Press Math really does uh, teach critical thinking skills, which I think are kind of necessary when you're going into a field where you're going to be in science or technology, engineering, solving problems. You're going to be presented with a problem and you're going to need to think critically on how to solve that problem. And those critical thinking skills are, I think, necessary. So um, can you get that still from Matthew C? Yes. But do I think BJU Press Math would do a better job of that? Yes. I think BJU Press Math does a better job with the critical thinking skills. Um, the other thing that I like about BJU Press Math that they do, um, especially in the high school years, the high school level math, is they take um, the different concepts that the student is learning and then they talk about which careers, where in life you might use that um, that concept in math. And I think that's really great for kids who are just naturally uh, enjoy math, but don't know what career they want to go into. If they're loving a particular concept in math and they just think it's so fun and they enjoy it, well, then they're going to be presented with some different options of where, what careers they could actually use uh, that math skill in and that math concept in that they enjoy. And so I think it it just helps um, show our kids where math is used and how math is very practical for everyday life and what careers are out there that use the different concepts that they're going to be learning. So for that reason, I would recommend BJU Press Math for kids that over math you see, for kids that are going into more of a STEM field. Of course, again, it really comes down to, though, which math curriculum, which method of teaching math is going to work best and clicks for your student. I mean, it doesn't matter if you if you as the mom love all these great things about BJU Press Math, but your student isn't learning and it's not making sense to them, but Math UC did, then obviously you need to go back to Math UC for that student. So anyways, I hope that helps. I hope that answers some of your questions about math curriculum, Math UC, and BJU Press Math.